All right, Shalom, Shalom. This is Brother Kashiqala coming back at you with another lesson, giving all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Machafadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. Today's lesson is going to be on an ancient, uh, uh, a righteous anxiety. All right, everybody has anxiety, every single body. On this planet Earth, whether it be minuscule, whether it be at the maximum peak of its, um, you know, formation or whatever inside of somebody, everybody has an ounce of anxiety. All right. Now, us men of the Lord, we have to have a righteous in in anxiety. Okay, we have a righteous anxiety. All right, but we don't let it overtake you. It's something. There's all these characteristics. Uh, that can be on the right or left hand side if you let it be in that manner okay you can be zealous but you can be zealous on the left hand side as well but you can be a righteous zealous you can have righteous uh, zeal okay don't turn that zeal and don't let that zeal turn you into a wicked individual Salakia. um you know me always rubbing my eye but like Judas he let that zeal Turn into a wicked zeal, okay? All right, and ultimately, what if you let anything turn into uh, the left hand side? It's because you're selfish, all right? If you have a if you have a wicked and anxiety, okay, it's because you're selfish and you you don't know how to suffer and you're not patient. That's what it is. Now, when we when I say us men of the Lord have a righteous anxiety, it's because we do. We're patient with it. We understand that things don't work according to our our time time or measure stick it doesn't we're on a different uh, the lord's on a different scale okay he's on a scale where really time doesn't exist so we have to abide and um do what he has to uh do what he says until he appoints that that time to where hey all these things that you've been reading and studying about and preaching and they're gonna happen now we have to wait on that but we're anxious to see it but we are still patient enough to um to wait on it okay now there's something called manipulation all right if you ever seen avatar the last airbender they can manipulate the elements they can manipulate air the earth the water and fire okay and they can do all of it but they manipulate it and control it to make it do what they want to do simple as that it's the same thing with these certain characteristics and these certain adjectives and certain nouns that we that we have present in life and that we can actually portray you can have an anxiety you can be anxious but take that anxious thing and manipulate it into something righteous don't let it be a demon that weighs you down so the word anxiety says a feeling of worry a nervousness or ease typically about an imminent event or something with an uncertain outcome now we understand the imminent event that's coming uh, it's going to have a certain um uncertain outcome for these others but it's going to be a great outcome for the elect 144 which we're hoping to be in that number it says a feeling of worry we're not so worried we're just like i wonder when it's going to happen you know what i'm saying i wonder when jacob's trouble is going to happen i'm not worried about it because i'm preparing myself i'm not going to sit here and worry about it if i'm worrying about it that goes to show that i'm not prepared okay it says a nervousness now I will say there's a certain level of nervousness before this impeding Jacob's trouble comes and hits. It's like, oh shit, man, when's it? Oh man, when's it gonna hit? I know it's gonna be bad. I know this. I already know this stuff. It says our un or unease. Now we're not really uneasy about it. It's just like when it, you know, what I'm saying that's us. When it's gonna happen, you know, that's it. You know, we're just sitting here like. <laughs> We keep up with the prophecies. Always oh, about to happen. Always oh, about to happen. Always oh, about to happen. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, we still put our shoes on, go to work every day. We still go to camp. We still do our videos. We still have a normal ass life, really. We still deal with our women, blah, blah, blah. We buy cars. We buy apartments and houses. You no, know, some brothers have businesses. We still keep them running. I'm not. We're not overly anxious to the point where we just stop everything we do and it's like oh it's about to happen tomorrow because we don't know the time nor hour we still got to live our life but we are anxious in a righteous manner but we don't let it overtake us it says desire to do something typically accompanied by unease correct all right 
Desire means a longing for or a love for something. We are a longing to see Jacob's trouble hit and get these wicked, wicked ass people. We are longing to be a part of the lot of Jeremiah 16 and 16. Okay? Don't really have to elaborate on that. All right? It says a nervous a nervous disorder characterized by this is like an anxiety attack. This is when demons got the best of you. It says a nervous disorder characterized by a state of excessive uneasiness and apprehension, typically the with compulsive behavior or panic attacks. Now, if you're having panic attacks and compulsive behavior and you have a nervous disorder because you're so uneasy and all the apprehension you can't take is because you're impatient. The scriptures say in Sirach, the second chapter, which I'll read real quick. I don't have to pull it up on the screen. I'm pretty sure all brothers know this. The rock second chapter is infamous. So it says, um, Sirach chapter 2 and 14, it says, Woe unto you that have lost patience. All right. Woe unto you who are over anxious, overzealous, all that. Okay. Chill, bro. All right. You're not, it's not working on your time. The reason why you're having these panic and anxiety attacks is because you don't know how to suffer. You don't know how to be patient. You don't know how to wait. You're being a little brat. You're kicking and, 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 and you're kicking your feet and beating your hands on the ground on your belly. That's what you're doing. You're being a little kid. You're being selfish as hell. Quit that shit. Okay? It says, uh, woe unto you that have lost patience. And what will ye do when the Lord shall visit you? Okay, so you want to have an anxiety attack and then panic attack all this crap right now because it's not happening quick enough for you. All right, bet when it hits, let's see if the Lord, let's see if the Lord is gonna um, remember, uh, uh, remember what you are doing. Okay, He's gonna visit you because you want to lose patience and you don't want to wait on Him to return. All right, that's bullshit. All right, you shouldn't have no anxiety attacks. Yes, you can be anxious in a righteous manner. That's it. But we still have the patience. That we're going to wait on our Lord and Savior to come and, and uh, save us out of this hellhole. Okay? This is Second Peter. <sighs> Let's see. Chapter. Um, I'll start at 10. So Second Peter chapter 3 and 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. In which the heaven shall pass away in the great noise. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Correct? So everything that you see right now is going to be gone. Especially here in America. But also it says a thief in the night. You don't know when a thief is going to hit. You don't know. So why have an anxiety attack? You know what I'm saying? Or you could just sit up and wait for it. And just keep an eye out. How about that? You could be anxious and do that. Alright? It says seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? You go into that word conversation is conduct. How should you be conducting yourself? Should you be having panic attacks? Should you be having nervous disorders? No, you shouldn't. You should be calm, cool, and collected until the time appointed. All right? Because, again, it says the thief in the night. You don't know when. Not even your hour shy knows when. All right? Verse 12. Looking for and hasting. Okay? This is the anxiety part. When you're looking for and you're hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High. It says... Where in the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. All right. There you go. Looking for and hasting. All right. Unto the coming of the day of power. All right. That's an anxiety, a righteous anxiety right there. We're still looking out for it, but we're going to wait. We're going to wait. Looking for. Now, the looking for part is the patience part. All right. I'm going I'm to look for it I'm, I'm, until I find it. Then, okay, then it says in hasting unto the coming of the Lord, the hasting is like, you know, you're in that, uh, haste means quick. Okay. You're in that quick, like, okay, okay. It's coming any second. It's coming any second, but I'm looking for it. I'm a wait. I'm a look. Okay. It's kind of like deer hunting. You're sitting there. You're hoping that the deer comes fast. So you don't have to be out there as long. Hunting takes a long time. That's why they exclude the entire day to do the thing. You may not see a deer the whole time. They have to come back tomorrow. All right. But you're looking for in your in your hasting, meaning the hope that a deer comes across your uh, your crosshairs. 
so you can pull the trigger. All right. This is Hebrew. Now this is a different type of uh, 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 anxiety. So this is Hebrew chapter ten and twenty six. For if we sin willfully, and the scriptures talk about in the law willfully sinning. After that, we have received the knowledge of the truth. So we're in the truth, and we we continue to offend instead of offend less. There remaineth no sacrifice for sins. Ooh, okay. So now you know, like you know, fucked up. All right. But a certain fearful looking for of judgment and fire and indignation. Now you're like, oh shit. Now it's an anxiety of uneasiness. Cause you know you done messed up. You're just waiting for your judgment to come. And you know it's gonna come. That's an uneasy and an uncertain outcome that is spoken about right here. Okay? So it says um it says uh to continue it says what shall devour the adversaries. So you're gonna take part in what's the adversaries or Satan is gonna which is the Edomites and the other heathen nations are going to take a part of because you decide to sin willfully. That's another type of anxiety. Now you're looking to be judged for your in, for your uh, your mistakes. Now, if, of course, you're going to be looking for this if you're not in the right spirit of actually saying Salakia, and I won't do it again. Even though you did it willfully, you still got to take a chance on the mercy of the Lord, man. All right? You never can underestimate Yahweh Shah. Uh, Yahweh, why Yahweh shot? Okay, still repent. Okay, here's another anxiety. This is Jude chapter um, one and twenty one. Of course, it's only one chapter. I'll start at twenty. It says, "But ye beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the holy in the Holy Spirit. All right, keep yourselves in the love of the Most High, looking for the mercy of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach unto eternal life." That is a righteous anxiety right there. We're looking for. We're we're looking out for. All right. Let's go back to the word anxiety. It says an Im, it, it talks about typically about an imminent event or something. All right. An imminent event is the mercy that the Lord Yahweh Yahweh Shai is going to relinquish over to the elect 144. That's an event that's going to happen, and we're looking for it. We're we're anxious for that. We want that to happen. We're hoping for it. All right. We're hasting for it. All right, because we would love to get the hell up out of these dark ass chains. All right, and and, and not have to uh, go to Esau for one of all things: water and food and shelter and clothing and stuff like that. Okay, we want the mercies of Yahweh Shai to come back. We are anxious about that, but we're looking for it again. The looking for the mercy—that's the patient part. All right, and then let's go to Titus. Chapter 1 and 13 It says I'll start at 11 It says for the grace of the most high That uh, so, so like For the grace of the most high That bringeth salvation Hath appeared to all men Teaching us that denying ungodliness And worldly lust We should live soberly Righteously and godly In this present world It says looking for That blessed hope And glorious appearing of the great power and our savior Yahweh Shai HaMashiach we are anxious for that to happen again looking for which means a what it's a patient thing we have to take that word or that feeling of anxiety and manipulate it like it's an element like we're like we're an avatar in the, the last airbender we gotta manipulate that that anxiety boom ah, ah got it now I manipulated it Yes, I'm feeling a way that, hey, I want to get the hell out of here tomorrow, okay? But I'm going to wait on the Lord to do what he has to do, and I'm going to do what he required me to do until then, okay? We're not going to throw hissy fits and have panic attacks because he hasn't come quick as like he said it would. No, we're going to sit and wait. The scriptures say in Habakkuk, throw it, Terry, wait for it. It's, it's not going to tarry. It's going to come, bro. Just wait. Have your anxiety, but be in a righteous manner. Your righteous anxiety should keep you pushing. In in the lot of um, Hebrews, the fourth chapter, the eleventh verse, should keep you pushing to enter into your rest. To have that anxiety, all right. To have that that feeling that something imminent is about to happen. Okay, oh shit, I feel something's about to happen. I know it's about to come quick. Let me just keep doing, pushing these videos and edifying the elect. Let me keep linking up with the brothers. Let me just keep doing what I'm supposed to do. Okay, that's how you should be 
channeling that anxiety instead of letting it overweigh you and in turn have a panic attack like a little bitch i'm just gonna say it straight up okay don't let that don't let that anxiety overweigh you don't let it happen okay uh matter of fact let me get one more scripture i just thought about it just now because this is another anxiety all right let's go to acts the first chapter Um. Uh, yeah, I know y'all know what I'm looking for. I just don't know why it's taking me so long to find it. It's like right, probably right in front of my face. Y'all brothers, like it's right there, man. <laughs> All right, let's see. There we go. This is Acts chapter. I'll start at one and four. It's right in front of my face. It says, "And being assembled together with them, comm uh, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which saith He, Ye have heard of me. For John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit, not many days hence." When they were uh, come together, they asked of Him, saying, "Lord." Will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? That was a, a sense of anxiety. Like, I'm anxious, bro. When are you going to do it? You know what I'm saying? This was 2,000 years ago, though. All right? Not knowing that 2,000 years later, more than likely it's going to happen. <laughs> okay? You got to wait. It says, And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own in his own power that's right so you just gotta wait for it all right you just gotta wait you just gotta wait let me say let me look all right verse 19 it says and when he had spoken these things while they behold he was taken up in the while they beheld meaning they're looking like what in the world all right what he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their out of their sight so a chariot came and beamed them up it says, while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. It says, which also said, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up in, up into heaven? This same Yahweh Shai, which is taken up from you into heaven, so uh, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. So even the, the physical, de you know, the demeanor, which is a, a conduct of her behavior, the body language of them just looking up there was a sign of anxiety. Like, when is that going to happen to us? You know what I'm saying? And the angels had to tell him, look, bro, the same way you saw him go up, you going to see him come back down. And that's another scripture that proves reincarnation. Because, yes, these same uh, 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 disciples that became apostles are going to see this. During this time now We're in that time now We just gotta wait Alright That's it You know Lord willing this was edifying I wanna give all glory Honor and praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai By Hashem Mechakwadash Double honors to the apostles And elders Great millstone Who rule and teach well Peace, love, and salutation To the elect 144 It's brother Kachakwala Until next time I say Shalom